This is Emac 2411 on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Well, this was breaking news as of last night because WWE and CM Punk involved in a $1 million lawsuit. WWE vs. CM Punk in courtroom. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's not waste any time. Now, WWE's doctor, Chris Amon, filed a lawsuit uh, yesterday against CM Punk and Colt Cabana due to comments made on Cabana's Art of Wrestling podcast last year uh, uh, in 2014. The Cook County Record in Illinois reports that Amon is claiming that his reputation has uh, suffered as a result of the comments made by Punk. Amon is seeking more than $1 million in compensatory damages as well as, well as an undetermined amount of punitive damages. Amon says that in his assault that Punk's claims about him are false. Now, Cabana is included for helping Punk falsely depict Amon. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen. However, new details as well came out last night. They were exposed in WWE vs. CM Punk courtroom war. Full details on that lawsuit. So yeah, let's get into it. This is a it came out yesterday night. And by the way, if you're enjo if you're enjoying the video right now and you're liking it, you're a new viewer. I'm going to let you take that time to subscribe right now while this page loses and this report comes up. Take that time. Make sure you press that button. I'm on the road to 200 subscribers. As it was noted earlier, WWE's Dr. Chris Amon filed a defamination lawsuit against CM Punk and Carl Cabana yesterday for comments made during their Art of Wrestling podcast made back during Thanksgiving weekend. Now, Amen is seeking more than $1 million in compensatory damage as well as an undetermined amount of punitive damage. Now, he claims the statements made by Punk and Havana were false, deflammatory, and put him in a false light by insinuating a lack of integrity, and or inability or lack of competence to perform his professional duties as a medical doctor. Now, Amen's suit includes a detailed transcript from the podcast. Now, the suit also points out that the podcast has been streamed more than 1 million times on YouTube and more than 10,000 times on SoundCloud, in addition to downloads on other platforms. Now, Punk claimed that on the podcast that Eamon misdiagnosed a growth on his back as a fatty deposit and disregarded requests to move it. Then said he later found out from another the doctor that it was a full-blown MRSA. Staff infection of the lawsuit says Eamon was not requested by Brooks to treat and or excise a lump, let alone a purple baseball-sized lump. Also alleging that Punk never thought treatment for a... Oh, for or showed Eamon a lump, Eamon a lump, and that Eamon never prescribed punk antibiotics for a lump or concussion. Doesn't that kind of just make it worse though? Because saying that he didn't treat him, he didn't really care, because that's basically what he just said. He's kind of making it worse. Now, Punk claimed that Eamon once prescribed him antibiotics for a concussion mm -hmm. and said that he didn't, uh, that he didn't know how to treat a concussion. Now, Punk also claimed that during the Royal Rumble last year, he motioned to Eamon that he had a concussion, but Eamon brushed it off. Eamon says he followed proper protocol by advising Punk to leave the ring after a preliminary diagnosis of a possible concussion. Now, Eamon says that he even requested that Punk undergo further evaluation and treatment in the training room backstage. Eamon is being represented by Philip J. Suzuk and Brian D. Suzer of Gooch, Levy and Angle in uh, Chicago. Now, this lawsuit wasn't filed until yesterday, so it's likely that Punk and Havana weren't served yet. Because it is a company employee that filed the lawsuit. We've reached out, well, the lawsuit has reached out to WWE, which is Wrestling Inc. I'm going to have the links, the sources, the proofs in the description. Go check that out. Now, I guess they've reached out to WWE for a comment, and we're, I'm, uh, they're going to keep you updated. Okay, now this is WWE versus CM Punk. Now, we all, this was speculated, this has been rumored, this has been reported. I mean, I mean, last year, ever since he basically got out, everyone was wondering, was he going to, was the WWE? Or was CM Punk going to file this? Now, we have our answer. Because, I mean, according to this, it's what it says. Uh, I'm going to have it for the proof, you know, in the description. Um, to what it says. I mean, I guess so. I'm just going by what I read, what I see, and what I hear. Now, we all know, I mean, ever since CM Punk was out on January 27th, 2014, it's been freaking a more, uh, 13 months, it's been over a year, now he's in UFC. 
We all know it's always it was speculated. Remember, he was gonna come back at the Raw on Chicago March third. It was speculated he's gonna come back at WrestleMania. It was speculated in many pay-per-views, many Raws, that he was gonna come back. Payback. It was, I mean, I, I've been, ever since I joined YouTube, I've been following every CM Punk update, every CM Punk news, rumor, headline, gossip, speculation. Anything that's been going on, because he was my, like, one of my favorite wrestlers. Um, it was sad to see him go. I do, hope one, I do hope one day that CM Punk does come back to the WWE. But, yeah. I do hope one day he does. Now, why is this, why is the doctor suing him? Shouldn't, you see, WWE is the one who wants to have this problem. CM Punk is doing his own thing. He was giving his side of the story. Now, we haven't found out about WWE's side of the story. But, WWE, see, Chris Heyman, that fucking doctor, I fucking see him all the time. Uh... Did WWE tell him to do this? I mean, really. Let's get real. WWE just wants to keep fucking with CM Punk. Yeah, I don't... Do they just want him... I mean... Leave the man alone. Leave the guy alone. Did he sue you? He CM Punk should be the one suing you, WWE. I mean, WWE, this fucking doctor is actually gonna... Oh, God, because of the comments? Because of comments. Oh, I don't know. Am I gonna fucking sue my... A fucking bully? If he fucking calls me a d I mean, if he says shit about me, am I gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna sue him. What the fuck? I mean, guys, I mean. Everyone, I mean, that was a must see podcast. I watched both of those podcasts with him on there. Those were pretty cool. I do agree with CM Punk. I do. We don't know what that would be, though, I have to say. We don't know if they're forever gonna hear their story. How about they have a side? How about they go on a fucking podcast? I mean, CM Punk's, I mean, I mean, they just, I respect CM Punk, I do like, I mean, we all know how shitty WWE is, though, their company, you know, backstage, um, people are complaining about it all the time, that was CM Punk's last match so far in the WWE, his last appearance. Why can't WWE just leave this alone? CM Punk's leaving it alone. He he has not talked about WWE. Well, he has. And what, he only brings up WWE. He only brings it up if someone asks him about it. In like an interview with someone. WWE just wants... I mean... God, left the fucking guy alone. I mean, it's over. We, I'm not kind of even done. I mean, it's sad to say that he's probably never coming back. I gotta say that right now. It's sad to say that. But it's the truth. He sometimes gotta say the truth, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh... Do I want to see him in WWE, or, yes, do I, would I rather see him in WWE than UFC? In the boxing MMA Bellator world? Yes. Absolutely. This is where he belongs. He was, I mean, it's what he wanted to do. I mean, I honestly saw his documentary, and he looked so happy. He was, like, proud of himself. On the WWE Network, you can actually check that out. Um, I mean, his story, I mean, just the way he was, I mean. And then you just, you do really never know what can happen. You just never know. One minute can be on good terms with WWE. One of their guys, I mean, top guy, 434 day reign, W champion, world champion, intercontinental title champion, tag team champion, money in the bank, two time winner. I mean, and then you know you're walking out. You don't want you quit. You don't want to be here anymore. W is on bad terms. This is like the most ever that they like. They are in the worst terms ever they have they've ever been. And I actually do live in Illinois, in Chicago. So, yeah. My hometown, I've been here, lived all my life here. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, Fast Lane is this Sunday night at live on the WWE Network. It's a three hour show, 7 to 10. You have six matches and a confrontation. Probably be giving my predictions maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably do it. But, um, yeah. I mean, CM Punk and WWE. Take that time. What is gonna happen here? We can only, I mean, I don't know. You guys, I mean, 
I'm going to stay up to date. I'm going to give you, if anything new comes out today, if it comes out tomorrow, if it even comes out during Fast Lane, if it even comes out when it's the main event, I'm going to be sure to bring it to you. I'm not even joking. Or I'll bring it to you after Fast Lane, I should say. In the review that I will be doing. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And yeah. Make sure to like this video, share this video all over the entire internet, on Facebook, Town, and Twitter. Comment with your thoughts and your opinions. And take that time to subscribe. Hit that button. Subscribe.